Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. If you need to create a sequence number for input records, which transformation will you use? To answer this question, there are multiple um, expectations. Let's say we are reading the data in the data flow task from a relational databases such as Oracle or a SQL Server. So uh, to create a sequence number, we might not want to use the transformation inside the data flow task. We, we can write the SQL statement or PL SQL statement by using Windows functions such as a row underscore uh, number and uh, with the partition um, partition by and over clause that can be done and we don't have to use the transformation but if you are reading a data from a flat file excel file or xml file then you cannot really write a sql statement uh, and uh, generate the sequence number so you have to have used some transformation the transformation that can work for us is uh, a script to component transformation. There are three modes of a script to component transformation. This can be used as a source, this can be used as a destination, and this can be used as a uh, transformation itself. So we will be using a script to component transformation as transformation to generate the sequence number. We will be adding a new column in the script component transformation um, and our code will be written in C sharp or or uh, Visual Basic. I have a post on sqla.blogspot.com. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, you know I'm, I'm going to put the link in the description as well and uh, read uh, the step-by-step -step approach how to create that. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you next video.